This is Gavotte in G, uh, the second tutorial. We're going to go from bar um, nine and the lead in notes just beforehand. I'll just play it through first. <laughs> go through that slowly. Um, I'm just going to go in slow motion now just to make sure that you can see all the fingers are in the right place. <laughs> on the thumb or the second so but I choose to land on my thumb on that one because my fingers already here for the number three on the G now there's a pattern that we saw in the beginning which is the jumping on the third 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 the same pattern again but in the left hand Instead of carrying on straight down, you go up to the A. Third, third, third. Now, third, one. And you're going to put your thumb underneath here in the left hand. A bit awkward, but you want to reach down to here. So let's just quickly go back to bar 14, just at the end of bar 14. This part here, three, two, up to the A, three, two, three, two, three, one, two, and the thumb underneath here. And you'll have to do that a few times to get it right, and you can speed up each time. So, and again. Which is very quiet to go up the octaves. Now you may notice I used four three four three instead of the five three that they put. I prefer four three four three, um, and I think it's more stable to do that. And I also ended up on a thumb, so it's. Do that part again from bar 16. And notice that I'm quieter, but I'm not getting faster. And that's quite difficult to keep it uh, growing in, in um, sound because we want a crescendo there, but we don't want to speed up. So we'll just go again from uh, bar nine and the leading just before. Mm -hmm. 